Welcome to the spiritual practice for Table Talk 4, Church and Power. In this video, we're inviting you to audit and explore your relationship to power. How do we influence the world around us? For this spiritual practice, you will need a journal, a pen, and a quiet space to reflect and to be with God. As we begin, let us center ourselves in scripture as God empowers us to be ambassadors for his kingdom. 2 Timothy 1, 7 reads, For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. Consider these words. Philippians 2, 5 through 11 illustrates how Jesus used his powers not for self-interest but out of love. In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who, being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant and being made in human likeness. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Consider how Jesus used his own power. As a journaling prompt, what powers do you have to change the world around you in Christ's name? What interpersonal powers do you have as an influencer of your family, your friends, your relationships? What social powers do you have to participate in various communities in your town or online? What physical powers are you gifted with to enact change around you through your own work or skills? What political powers do you have in a context of local, regional, state, and national democracy? What economic powers do you have as a consumer, an investor, a producer in the local and global economy? What legal powers do you have as a participant in the justice systems of our own context? What organizational powers do you have connected to your networks, workplaces, and institutions? What structural powers do you have as you inherit privileges, social advantages, and cultural heritages? What spiritual powers do you have as an ambassador of Christ, a royal child of God inhabited by the Holy Spirit? After you survey your list of powers, reflect. How do you exercise your power as an ambassador of Christ? How do we subject these powers to the authority of the King for the good of the kingdom and the world around us? How do we engage these powers responsibly and in Christ-likeness? May we wade through these complexities in prayerfulness as we come to the table together to discuss the church's relationship with power.